Hi. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a weird one because um, on one account I'm being in a personally on a, I'm in a very bad place at the moment um, mentally but also there's been weird stuff going on generally so it's a it's a weird place to be to be doing this kind of thing but I was going to do a thing about a PewDiePie actually um, but it's sort of like that kind of um, um, what you say that kind of subject matter is sort of um, squeezing into another one which is hatred and hatred is very very easy to do online um, it's very close to heart so to speak doing online but okay let's do the PewDiePie thing first and foremost um, so I am not personally I'm not a big fan of PewDiePie so I'm not defending or you know anything that he does but from from what I know he's not actually hurting anyone he's not um, putting anything in I don't know he's not you know he's not actually bringing anything worse into this world by doing what he does but there is an extreme amount of hatred towards PewDiePie as a youtuber and I was thinking about okay what why is that what what does it trigger what does it mean and well the first thing that comes to mind is jealousy that oh so he made something that people can associate to or that people like easily in quotation marks and therefore he's worth he's worthy of our hatred because it was easy well um not really um there is this this problem about or well this issue with people being jealous of people getting something because they're the like they're the first that feel a need and so people automatically assume it was easy uh it's not necessarily easy to get there and um then we have like so okay a he's a youtuber and two he makes a lot of money doing what he likes or doing what he does he may not even do everything that he likes but he does something that people respond to and then he you know continue on from there um one thing is that it's not easy being um it's not easy being a successful youtuber it's not <laughs> it doesn't just happen it happens for a reason it may be happening because you're the first one to do it and people have a, a need for it or there's a longing for whatever you are providing and that brings you views and that brings you success right um, but it's not automatically easy anyone who comes after the person who does this um, has to work hard they have to maybe uh, put on a personify um, you know uh, uh, they have to play a part um, which is tricky maybe they can't just be themselves it's not just like someone and also we like um, say um, oh uh, I forgot his name now what's his name well Angry Joe for example so Angry Joe has a huge amount of following. He has a success, successful, you know, um, successful um, channel and everything. But 
as soon as he doesn't put up, put up something or put out something, it, people are like, oh, you lazy son of a bitch, what are you doing, and you're so crap. So you always have this... And even when people are saying, oh, just put up something for five minutes. Well, if you still have to edit it and so on and so forth, it's still work, you know, it's still hard work. Uh, whether some whether a, a clip on YouTube is long or short, it's still gonna have to be worked behind it if you're editing it. Um, so, but going back to PewDiePie, when I come when I look back and I read some of the like the hate comments, and I'm like, well, why are you so extremely hateful? Again. I'm not a fan. I'm not like I'm not defending anything he does, but I'm happy for his his success. I'm like, sure, that's great. If someone can have success from anything, I'm happy for them. They've obviously done something right, right? But um what I think people need to to consider is that when they when they or when they say that something is you know, it's a cancer to YouTube. You're degrading cancer. Or when you're saying, oh, this is like the Hitler of YouTube. You're degrading the the amount of devastating effect that Hitler had. You don't understand it. If you despise and hate PewDiePie, you can choose to not look at his videos. You can put him aside even if he comes up say you're interested in similar type of stuff so his videos come up in your selection of um, you know recommendations on YouTube you can still choose not to look at them don't give him the views that is the thing if you don't agree with PewDiePie you don't like his humor you don't like what he's doing his kind of work don't look at his videos and don't support him and that will speak for itself if people didn't like or respond to PewDiePie Markiplier Angry Joe any of these big 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 youtuber um, profiles they wouldn't have the type of uh, or amount of viewers that they do just don't look at them but what I don't understand is how does it hurt you if you feel that PewDiePie or Markiplier or Angry Joe or any any other youtuber is I mean even PewDiePie when he got um, angry if he got bad rep for making rape jokes right during his let's plays he stopped he took that to heart and he was and he thought it over and he thought all right yeah no that doesn't sound very good so he stopped doing rape jokes in his let's plays which is fantastic um how does a person like that hurt you personally the only thing you need to do is stop watching them. Stop di giving them views, right? How does anything affect you personally? How can anything be that horrible? No, not really. It's just people who, who, people who hate on these people, people who hate on PewDiePie or Markiplier or Angry Joe or any of the popular Let's Tubers are people who have actually had a personal conflicts with the persons themselves in real life or people who don't have anything better to do. You're just wasting your time and everyone else's. Um, people will always have different uh, you know, opinions about things and objectives and you know what they value most or devalue it's all opinions um hating on someone like this is complete is a complete waste of time the only thing you can sort of vote by is by letting your 
views speak for themselves. If someone gets 2,000 million views on a video, they obviously made something right. Whether it's bait or not, they attracted attention. Okay? And why do they anger you so much? Maybe it's because you don't have any real problems in your life. Maybe you don't have a gun pointed to your head at the moment. <laughs> then you're going to care about, about what PewDiePie says or doesn't, you know? But it's it's like fake opinions when you start hating on people uh, and putting in the comments. I mean, if you don't like someone, you don't support them. Don't watch them. Don't do them any favors. Don't give them views. Don't give them comments, and so on and so forth. Um, this will sort out itself, right? So, you know, just don't waste it. Don't waste their time and yours first and foremost. Don't waste your time on these people that you don't like. I just don't get it. But, um, so, yeah, stop doing that in case it's someone you don't like. And if it's someone you, you're sort of in the middle and, or in between of, does it hurt you? Does it hurt anyone, what they do? If it doesn't, it's no biggie. So, there's my five cents.